Lamar, you look a little bit more chill than when you left the floor earlier with your teammates celebrating. <laughs> Can you walk us through just how you feel about that last play and then overall just getting a win and snapping the 10-game losing streak? Uh, I really think it just about the last play it just goes into, you know, what coach, you know, said to us from day one. You know, we want to be the hardest playing team and want to be the most unselfish team, team every single night. And, you know, I think that goes to Colin, you know, being the lead scorer, a guy who, you know, a lot of guys look to. He trusted me uh, with the ball. So I just wanted to be aggressive for my teammates. Um, and I think he made a, that unselfish play and I was able to get an open lane uh, to go finish the basket. And it was just amazing celebrating because, you know, we've been working so hard day in and day out to get things right. So to finally, you know, come out with a win against a good team like the Hawks, it feels good. And for you guys, you constantly mention how you have to do this thing together. Success is done together for this team. You got you with the game winner, Dean Wade starting, and then Dylan Windler going five for five from the three. How yeah. cool is that? Uh, so it's really cool. You know, it's a group effort. You know, we're not going to do it, you know, individually. And I think we're just, we're the better when we're together. And, you know, t tonight it really felt that. And I think we really showed that. And, uh, you know, I, that's something that we want to continue to show. And I think that'll be best for our future. And then with the game coming up tomorrow, I know that you have to celebrate this one, but also look forward to the next game. How do you carry over that intensity and um, attention to detail, even against Houston? Yeah, I mean, we've had the attention to detail. We just got to continue, you know, plugging on. We're going to, we celebrated, you know, that win, but we got to, you know, focus in and get ready for tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I think we'll be ready, but coach does a great job of just making sure guys are locked in, um, and, you know, that's just how the league is. You know, we, we win one game one day, and we got to play the next day. So I think we'll be ready. Chris Fedor, go ahead. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. What's up, Lamar? Hey, how you doing? So I asked you about a week ago if you've had your welcome to the NBA moment yet. Uh, is it fair to say that now you do on the good side of it? For sure, definitely. <laughs> it's my first game winner ever. So, yeah, so definitely had it. Never even in AU, high school, college, anything like that? No, not that I, no. <laughs> First <laughs> one. Maybe, no, that's the only one I can remember, to be honest. <laughs> um, for somebody like you, who is obviously fighting for your place in the NBA and trying to prove that you belong, just how big is this kind of moment? I mean, you know, it's a definitely a big moment uh, for me individually, but... For me to continue to prove uh, my, that I belong, you know, it's going to be consistent. It's got to, you know, happen every day. And I know that, uh, but definitely celebrate the successes, but just continue to keep it rolling. Uh, never get too high, never get too, get too low. Just continue plugging away each day. Was there anything specific that, that somebody said to you during that mob celebration? Um, everybody was just saying, you know, I was talking to Colin a lot. Uh, you know, my, my coach that I sp spent a lot of time with, Sam Jones, they were just continually continually telling me, like, way to stay ready, way to be ready, way to be ready. And I just got subbed in before, you know, that play. So um, they just always tell me, you know, stay ready. You never know when your number's going to get called. And, you know, today, you know, they, they felt that I, that I stayed ready. They reminded me of that. Thanks, man. No problem. Kelsey. Kelsey Russo, The Athletic. Hey, Lamar. How you doing? Um, Good. Um, kind of going off of that, actually, JB talked about how, you know, you've earned your minutes through this stretch and, and everything you've done, has, you've earned it. How have you felt just like through, you know, the first part of this season, especially even tonight too, like you've, you've shown that you've earned the playing time and that you can, you can contribute on both ends of the floor and, and that you do fit in well with this team. Yeah, uh, I really think it just starts with my effort. You know, I want to go out and just be a guy that, you know, is the hardest playing person on the floor and allow everything else to come, you know, to me naturally. Uh, just being unselfish for these guys. We have guys that can shoot and score the ball. Um, and just trying to do the little things and let everything else just happen for itself and make sure that I put in that, uh, you know, the work every day. And I make sure, you know, I take pride in just being an extremely hard worker. And that I feel like that just prepares me for the moment. Um, and I really think that's it. And then you, you mentioned um, Sam Jones. Just even, even in practices, shoot-arounds, whatever, how has he just helped you in this transition in your, in your time with the Cavs? 
Oh, he's helped me grow um, my game, grow, you know, on the court and off the court. Uh, you know, we, we work together every single day, uh, multiple days sometimes. And on top of where we're watching film and just having those conversations about the rigors of the NBA, um, he's been a guy I could just lean on. So he's, you know, definitely been special in my development, um, you know, into this role. And then last one for me, did you get a uh, water bottle shower in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, and it was freezing. <laughs>